Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. So, uh, you got us kicked off the ship, huh? <laughs> I don't know what the sign actually says. Hate my bamboo, eh? <laughs> we, well, we, I think it's supposed to be well. Well, you are now barred. We, you. No, we, you. We, you are now barred. We, you are now barred. <laughs> Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Uh, do not set foot on my boat unless you do what the bamboo tells you. Oh, talk the... to you, good, good. I don't Wait, know what, what the bamboo called. tells you? Do they... I don't know. Is there more over I here? I don't know. We uh, do it's we like it's like Saul? <laughs> no, this is gonna be like um, what the hell was it? The uh, uh, the the curses of Impotet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It will be nothing. The bamboo is not speaking to me yet. Hey, it is like a half finished prank. No. What does the bamboo tell you? I don't know. It doesn't tell me anything. I don't know. It, it tells me the, it, what the curses of Mipotet did. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. <sighs> Maybe if I put my ear to it, I'm not standing close <laughs> enough. You know the way that these bamboo are set up like, have you ever skied or snowboarded? Oh, like a slalom? Yeah, so it's like a slalom. And when I was a kid, and I used to, you know, ski and snowboard as a kid, and I didn't understand. I'm like, why do the people go around the long ways on these things? Like, it's so much quicker to just go straight down the, <laughs> down the center. Just go down the center. I don't understand why they're wasting their time. Uh, well, I mean, I guess the, you know what? I, I listened. I listened. I opened my ears, and the bamboo told me to destroy that obsidian in my way. Oh, man. That's pretty hardcore bamboo. Yeah. Yeah, it also said "fuck doll." Those, I mean, that's that's the bamboo's word. I don't, I didn't say it. Just the doll. messenger, just the messenger yep. here. Yep. Bamboo just did. saying what the bamboo said. <laughs> uh, hey, so uh, did you read recently? I, I have read recently. Oh, that's sorry. Good. That's good. So your question time. <laughs> no, they uh, the the mathematically proven paradox free time travel no i have not read i have no idea what you're talking I, about oh my god i want you to try to read something on it because i just don't get it made big headlines because apparently somebody uh and i'm trying to pull up where the student was at because it was a student that did it in a peer it's in a peer-reviewed paper a senior honors undergraduate says he's mathematically proven that physical feasibility of a specific kind of time travel. It was a paper that got published in classical and quantum gravity, whatever magazine or article that is. And I will tell you, I didn't, I didn't read the whole art, like the, the real article. I read some, you know, newspaper articles about said thing. Cause there's lots of them because this is apparently just like huge news. I'm not quite understanding why. And People are saying, like, of course, it doesn't mean that they like, didn't prove that you can time travel, like, or that time travel exists, or that we can actually, you know, physically do time traveling. It just apparently is trying to disprove the concept that, you know, everybody argues about, well, if you go back in time to do something, well, if you, you, you stop an event, like, the whole example is, if you go back in time to stop COVID from starting, mm -hmm. and you stop it from starting, therefore it wouldn't have started and you wouldn't have the motivation to go back in time to stop COVID. Like, so paradox, you know, I don't agree with that aspect. I think I, I, I'm, I'm more a, a believer of the multiple timelines top part of time. Okay. And, well, and that's something that I can buy as well. I, what I'm trying to more figure out is how somebody's mathematically proven that you can be paradox free. Cause the whole argument gets down to in the, the newspaper, articles I'm reading and I'm hoping more people in the audience will decide to research this more maybe give me the TLDR on it or something like that because I don't have time to sit down and read the actual paper proof that's out there to see but he's basically saying that the way he's mathematically proven it well if you went back to stop COVID you could stop the initial patient zero from getting it but somebody else would just be patient zero or you would inevitably become patient zero Therefore, yeah, that's I mean, that's one it. of the, the time travel beliefs, right? Like, but I don't know how it's bad. That's like more proven. of the like, how the fuck do you math? I mean, prove that? you remember proofs in college, right? <laughs> if a plus B, somebody, I feel like creeping up on us here <laughs> and now they flew, flew away. Like, I feel like, I don't know, like proofs is, is its own fun thing where you can 
almost prove anything. Like you can prove two plus two equals five. Uh, incorrectly, yes. I mean, you can you can show in a way that two plus two equals five. Can you show that to me? I can't, but it, a, a math boy could. <laughs> math boy. Math boy. Yeah. Yep, that's what they What's call your him. superpower? Math boy. Wait, no, my superpower is math. <laughs> yeah. That pedophile superpower <laughs> is math boy. Uh, I think I already bought obsidian. I think we're obsidian free, as per what the bamboo told me. Um, So you're going to get your shit together today? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have to tear up the side of the ship and remember how this was made. And I think we need more powered rails to make this work, too. I could try well, to... someone left their shulker boxes over here like a fool, and the the uh, bamboo told me that this gold inside of it's ours to take. <laughs> so, uh, two, three. just saying. There's a there's a new chicken shack over here. Do you see this? You see uh, the old chicken shack? I, I did not. Is it Jimmy's? Uh I used to love Jimmy's chicken shack, man. It's got a duck. <laughs> Maybe it's a duck. Shack. <laughs> yes. It's just, why does this chicken shack have a duck on it? it? Couldn't be a duck shack. It's I mean I hear chickens inside unless chickens sound like ducks. Uh, uh I mean they sound similar to ducks, I guess. I don't remember how the hell to do this now. Um I've stood on the pressure plate. I feel like this is where I will get my chicken, but I didn't get any chicken. I do not, for the life of me, remember how this works. What the hell is under here? I'm, I'm not really getting anything out of this. Out of what? This chicken shack. I mean, because it, oh, it threw an egg. Because it's duck. So when you step off, it throws something. Yeah, what was under here? Now I don't remember. How does this work? I'm going to screw this whole thing up here. A dropper, that's it, okay. Hold back. Oh, God, I made it go. I made it go. That's probably not good. Yeah, but I, I would still like to understand this whole mathematical proven time travel thing i mean i don't i don't know i, I haven't read it <laughs> uh should be on your short reading list but you're more of a you're an alter a multiple timeline guy i think that makes the most sense have you seen umbrella academy yet no have you yes have you seen uh, Alexander Hamilton yet? No. Well, don't talk to me about shit until you watch what hey, I tell you. Hey, hey, hey. Instead of watching Hamilton for the 35,000th time, will you please, for the love of God, watch Traveler Season 3? I just finished watching Kipo Season 3. That, um, that's not the same. I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not. Kipo, I mean, they both have Season 3 in them. That's that's true. You're close. So I'm good, right? Um, hmm. <laughs> Did this really stay on the wall? No. No, you don't. You don't ever plan on watching it, do you? Probably not. Honestly, I think it's crazy. You liked it so much, and and it's so good, and you're just like, yeah. The I'll, fact that uh, I'll watch Hamilton again. <laughs> yeah, I have honestly I haven't watched Hamilton in a while. I've been watching other stuff. But uh, and your while been, is like three days. <laughs> I've been listening to Hamilton instead. Um, so I googled the proof for two plus two equals five, uh -huh. and there's tons of examples of this online. But speaking it to you is too um, hard. Proofy. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I cannot read you this equation. Um, what what is it like at the end of the day? It's um it's a proof just like you would do back in college. But um, it, it's an equate like if this then that. Hold on, can you send me the link that you have and I will 
Exactly. Just Google. Just Google math proof two plus two equals five. There's tons of YouTube videos on it too. Math proof two plus two equals five. There's definitely YouTube videos. Here's the YouTube contradiction. Prove two plus two equals five. Lots of square roots involved in this. Yeah. Why? So prove that two plus two equals five. We know that two plus two equals four. <laughs> Wait, what? You can't start the, with the prove that two plus two equals five, starting with the proof that two plus two equals four to do that. I mean, they're just saying, yes, we know that two plus two equals four, but here's also how math can show you two plus two equals five. Four minus nine over two, two plus two equals four minus nine over two plus nine over two. That's not even right. That first line is wrong. No. Nine over two. Plus two, nine over two. Plus nine over two. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see. Okay. 9 over 2 squared plus 9 over 2. I'm betting they do something with, like, the operational order incorrect here. One, no, it all works out. 4 minus 9 over 2 squared square rooted plus 2 over, or plus 9 over 2. So 4 minus 9 over 2 squared, let's see, is 4 squared is 16 minus 2. I know this is invigorating, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm still trying to understand this damn chicken shack over here. I hear chickens. There's all this redstone. There's like liquid being poured around that I can hear. I don't understand what why, I do. Why does he get 2.4.9 over 2? I don't know where that comes from. You probably should just watch a YouTube video. I mean, I know that's not great for well, what you're trying to do right now, 16, but a four times nine over two plus four times nine over two. Okay, minus two times four times nine over two is what he's getting at there. Um, but the next line, I'm trying to figure out somewhere. Somewhere it's wrong. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna figure. I'm gonna figure it out. I don't have time to do it right now. But so we, uh -huh. uh, they do some trick with the math that you're not allowed to do. I'm sure that's exactly what like how would they get there? Um, it's like have you seen? You don't have Facebook, so people keep putting that stupid stuff up on Facebook, and it's like, uh, it turns out you know people don't know this third grade math problem. Everybody in America gets two different answers for it, and it's just because of doing order of operations differently. Um, and there's one way you're supposed to do it, but one way people thought you were supposed to do it, but that's really not the way you're supposed to do it because it's wrong way that you're mm -hmm. to like to do it. So the whole thing is like, no, it's not that there's two answers to this problem. One answer is right. And one answer is wrong. You just need to know how to do it the right way. Right. I don't think that's the case in this particular situation. You don't, I don't. And why not? Uh, cause I don't, I, I mean, this is like, this just because like you, just you don't want to. No, just because this is like an age old thing that people have always like, this is the example of how you can, you can move math in a way that suits where, what you, where you need to, what you need to prove. I, but I don't think that's accurate. Now in between episodes, I'm watching this video and finding out what they do that's wrong. And I'm going to find the same video that disproves exactly what it is. I mean, I might, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a mathematician. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah. There's a reason this comes to my mind whenever you start talking about math proofs. Um, so how's the house? I mean, it's coming. I don't know if you saw. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my god! I have not got to watch any of your videos uh, on the Fix It channel. Yeah, I was so. gonna say then you'll, because uh, then you'd see. But it's, it's slowly coming along. We went and planted some trees over there today to try to make a living tree wall. Oh, that seems like it's being an order of operations. <laughs> it seems like one of the last things you do. <laughs> well, they, <laughs> Not they, first. They, they need to grow. And we can't do anything in the house right now because like, I guess the they contractors do stay are still waiting for permits and stuff. So <laughs> why, why not do the stuff we can do? I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Like that old saying about when's the best time to plant a tree? <laughs> Is it when you prove 
two plus two equals five. Like I've never, <laughs> I've never heard of said saying before. To know really, where, you where haven't. this is going. When, I don't, the, when's the best time? To honestly, just, the, this I saying I don't know. agree with. I think this, I think this saying is pretty stupid. If you want the truth, the saying is the best time to to plant a tree was thirty years ago. The next best time is today. I think the next best time was 29 years and 340, 364 days ago. Though. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can't disagree with that logic. The best time was 30 years ago. Yeah. We're way out of the second best time. It's like, yeah. well, when was the best time to stop, you know, greenhouse gases? Like people are going to say that in the future when we realize we're past the point of no return. They're going to be like the day before we're past the point of no return. It's like, no, <laughs> a long time fucking before that is when yeah. we just stopped. <laughs> Basically, yeah, absolutely. Uh. Oh god damn it! I need a comparator too. Uh. So comparator there, and then why am I building it this way? I'm building the wrong. I'm building the wrong way. Mm. Shoot! Yeah, I'm building this the wrong way. Why are you building it the wrong way, Joe? Oh no! Just I, because I hate it. I thought it was five. Shit. Turns out. Well, you need to do your math proofs. One, two, three, four, five. That's still right. One, two, oh, five from that end will be the dispensary. Yes. Honestly, I don't know if I would even know what the fuck's going on in Travelers anymore. Well, you'd have to watch season one and two again and get. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's the where I'm at with Dark. Have you watched Dark? No, no. You, I, I turned it on one day. I was going to watch it. I think I started an episode and was like i'm not in the mood for what i'm seeing so far so i just stopped and was like i'll come back to this later everyone talks about how it's the greatest damn thing and i enjoyed season one um so i wanted to go back and watch um season two but when i started season two up it's one of those things where i was just like who are you what happened in season one um so i decided to go back and watch season one before i watched season two but, and, uh, but Travelers is so good that you're going to, I mean, you're going to get very back to it and be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't that great. Dude, I can go into our archives and uh, <laughs> prove to you that that's not what you said before. Maybe. I don't know. If, if it was so great, why don't it's, I, why don't, why doesn't it seem great I now? do wonder, I have that same question. I, I don't know why you crazy like that <laughs> you crazy like that <laughs> I, don't, I don't i don't get it i mean i you know you know what's funny is one thing that we've never gone back to still and i even tried to get julia too because i just want to kind of finish it out um at least the season we were watching because we didn't even finish we stopped in the middle or just the new black Julia just got so, lost so much interest with it on the, se the sixth season that she was just like, I can't do it anymore. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like that's another one. You're not missing out too much. Yeah, but you you still have watched them all. And, like, I think there's, like, two and a half more seasons. Like, I have the season six. And wasn't there seven and eight already came out? I think so. It's done now. The show is officially done. Oh, it is officially done. Yeah. Did I it, enjoyed Did it that end show. with, like, a good ending i and i don't mean you good, know i don't, I don't remember spoil, but <laughs> i don't even know so i guess it wasn't that great because it didn't resonate right like, well, i don't it might not have resonated, but it also might not have been bad because it didn't resonate as bad either right yeah i guess that's true like i'll always remember how shitty sopranos as a show was honestly i feel like sopranos is one of those things where it was always shitty. <laughs> I just was, I, I, I never watched Sopranos as it aired until the final season. So like I was one of those people that uh, was watching Sopranos. I bought it all on DVD and it all had aired except for the final season. So I got it all on DVD and watched it back to back to back all the way until the final season. And I was like, man, this is a really good show. Um, what I didn't realize is how fucking slow it is it's the slowest show you've ever seen and i didn't know that at the time because i was watching it back to back to back like that um but then watching it the last season as it aired god it's such a slow show and the finale was awful did you watch sopranos you no like but i mean clearly that one made enough headlines with the finale i know how it ended and i've seen it you know portrayed in multiple memes and things like that so i get the mm. concept but no that was never a show i 
I watched. I probably wouldn't mind watching it, except for when you know, like, now I will never watch Game of Thrones. Not that I ever thought I was going to want to. It does, doesn't seem like a show that's up my alley. But knowing how bad everybody hated the ending of that, I don't think I could even bring myself to start yeah, at this point. I, right. I yeah. wish I had never watched Lost after seeing the ending of Lost. It's not even the ending that ruins it for me. It's everything. It's the, the <laughs> everything last, ever since the writer strike, I think, basically. Well, the last two seasons were pretty bad, but it was one of those things that I, you hung in there because you had been there for so long, and you got to get... We now have an ending on the show. We now know yeah. it ends in two seasons because I think after the third season, they announced there'll be two more seasons. We are you know writing the conclusion, and it kind of kept people into it. Because right. they were like, okay, we can get to the end of this thing. We can get to the end of this thing. Maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll get better. And it just never did. <laughs> I think I can still say it was writer strike problems. I mean, a lot of good shows were lost to that. Like Heroes was lost to the writer strike, even yeah. though it came back and even had a like a spinoff series, not a spinoff series, I guess a reboot of it. The eh, reboot was eh. Did you watch the reboot? I didn't like the reboot. Yeah, was it eh or was it like you thought it was bad? I thought it was bad. Okay. I thought it was eh. The way they uh, kill off Claire at the start of it just ruined it for me. Man, I was not a fan spoilers. Of... It's like five minutes into the first yeah. episode. <laughs> yeah, I did spoiled. I did find that odd because the whole concept of her was like she's invincible. And... Well, you understand how she wasn't invincible, right? I mean, I yeah, I do, I do to an extent... I mean, I don't want to get like her more babies, spoilers, but yeah, I'm gonna it? fucking I'm gonna fucking spoil it. Okay. Her baby is God, I guess it is able, like five years old now, right? Yeah, it's more than that. Her baby, it's it's superpower is the ability to remove superpowers from everyone else. So she died in childbirth. Really, she just didn't sign a contract for another season, so she won't be in the fucking show. <laughs> but she died. She died during childbirth because her baby prevented her from being immortal. Stupid children. spoiled that shit <laughs> it done been spoiled honestly honestly they never wrapped up how the fuck did her dad and her get out of that trailer they were buried in at the end of the first run through of the show i think they talked about that but i don't i don't remember. think they ever did maybe they did i don't I remember don't what was said about that but i thought it was talked about i'll give you the benefit of the doubt it's a lot of doubt though I mean, there can be a lot of doubt because I, I honestly don't remember. <laughs> <sighs> I've made it yet again impossible to leave this fucking place. Immediate turn and up. One. You know, honestly, my daughter's pretty obsessed with Hamilton, too. So it's not just me. I have to watch it for her now, too. <laughs> I have to. I have to. I don't know what this goes to, and I'm hoping it's not anything. It looks like I have room. How you feeling about the uh, Supreme Court hearings in your in your town there? You know, I haven't even. Uh, I've been keeping up with the news a little bit with them, but sadly not having much uh, time to sit there and watch what they. I've watched every Supreme Court hearing that I've been old enough for it to matter or me to care about politics. Uh -huh. So, the last several. Um, there's no reason to watch this one. It's pointless. Absolutely pointless. And how high do you have to go? way up there uh i mean there's a foregone conclusion of what's gonna happen it's yeah it's so it's so dumb like the fact that we're going into this knowing the outcome is just uh, it's gross the whole thing is just gross uh, so this might be a problem your problem your problem i need my i need this line to come up through here 
which means we can't do it. Come up through where? Uh, so on the other side, I could go behind where these things get power, uh, these end droppers. But our power comes in from this side, the initial signal. So it needs to kind of somehow loop up in here where there's not a thing. I guess I can find out if I can. That's a hole that's fine to use. I guess in Same. theory, this could be also rearranged. Hold on, I might be able to do this. Can you look at that? You're going to break this, aren't you? Possibly. <laughs> what is this here for? If I actually get rid of this, I can move this over even farther there. Break that, put that there. That gives me a little bit more to play with um, <laughs> as long as it still goes. Can you, uh, I'm tempt, I don't want to tempt fate. I press the button now. Let me see if I can make this thing get up here. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> you sound like you're really enjoying it. Uh, oh man! Oh man! I just shot a rocket off. I was so excited. <laughs> That's the uh, climax there. Pink and brown. Well, oh, it's not gonna work. You know, she's um, she was a, a judge for three years. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Let's see. I need to go back one more. I can't do that because that's going to break that hopper. God damn it. I'm not going to be able to do this. You can do it, Jeff. I believe in you. Uh, then you're wrong. No, no. You got this. Well, the other way this could be done. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe. We're pro I think everything's going to be broken here in a minute. Um, let's do that. How long has this been? I'm not even looking at my timer anymore. Uh, oh, we just crossed into 28 minutes. Probably should oh, wrap it up. Is that all? Yeah, that give you time to watch your video about two plus two. Yeah. Um. Two plus thanks for thanks for watching, everybody. Two is five. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye.